Story number nine now, our class act this morning has aspirations of Michelin star cuisine and divine dining dreams that would make some green with envy. Dorsey High School in South LA is teaching its students how to become tasty entrepreneurs under its green sauce program. KCAL News reporter Jasmine Beal was lucky enough to be today's guinea pig. Hey there, okay, I'm inside the kitchen here at Dorsey High. This is their culinary arts program. I'm with some of the best student chefs, okay? Here's Robert, tell us what we're making today. Yeah, so today we have, today's meal is, we have rotini pasta with a chicken on top of it, with a Dorsey green sauce, and on top of the chicken we have provolone cheese with a side of sauteed squash. Sounds delicious. Now, you being in this culinary arts program, but you don't want to become a chef afterward. Tell me what you want to do. Uh, in the fall, I plan to uh, attend Trade Tech to electrical maintenance. Awesome. But what have you learned? Life skills. Yeah. I, I play basketball, so as an athlete, I would love to cook healthy meals so I can keep up you know, my body. Robert, that, I think everyone needs these kind of skills, right? To eat healthy, and the food already looks amazing, you guys. And okay, this is what I have been hearing about, and I can't wait to try it. It is the famous Dorsey green sauce. Hello, Ashlyn. Tell me all about this. 100% of the proceeds, you guys go right back to the students. Show, show off this label with the alien. Okay, so Dorsey Green Sauce is not just a condiment. It's a movement. It's made by students for students. It all started in an entrepreneurship class led by Ms. Briscoe and Niels Carter. We wanted to create something real, something impactful, and that's when the sauce came up. You got some endorsements. Yes, we have endorsements from influencers like Kourtney Kardashian. We're just getting started. I chose my major with like the community and with everything going around. I want to major in business and marketing with the help from Google there and Deutsche Welle. Yes. And you have a website set up for this green sauce. Okay, we got to try it. You guys got to help me dig into this. I got to see what it tastes like. Robert's going to help plate it up. Does the green sauce already cooked into this? Yes, the green sauce is on top of the chicken wow. and on top of the pasta too. Okay, as well. Robert, let's do this. I'm gonna dig into the chicken, green sauce, provolone. Oh, it is tangy, like a a lemon. Yeah. Oh, it has a kick too. <clears throat> wow. Oh, water. No, I'm good. You guys, that is delicious. Hold on, I know we gotta go. I gotta try the chicken. Uh. That is restaurant quality. Do you like it? I do. Your whole family loves it? Absolutely. Oh. Good job, you guys. Chef Sonia. Yes. You're an alum. As I'm trying to shovel down the food. You're an <laughs> alum. What do you say to these students and what you guys have created here? Well, this is just an opportunity for all of them to learn entrepreneurship in any realm that they decide to go into. And then we want them to be able to cook for themselves. I mean, they're going to be maybe broke college students, you know? <laughs> I know I was. Um, and the, yes, and the hot sauce uh, that we have created for oh, the wow. students, by the students type of thing, they keep all the proceeds. So it's very important. Career technical education is a life skill in itself. And wow. so as an alum, I'm glad that I got the skills that I got when I was here as a student, but even more so in becoming an adult. I've had something to fall back on the entire time. You know, and yep. so no matter if we have a pandemic, we have to eat. Yep. So every student here could major in something else, but they will all have the skills to be able to work yep. in this industry regardless across the world. You guys are amazing. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. And that is still hitting in the back of the throat, which I love. All right, I'll send it back to you here from Dorsey High School in the Culinary Arts Program. I'm Jasmine Beal for KCAL News.